welcome all of you to another math lesson in the last video we discussed the first criterion that is a a or a a a criterion you can see on the screen if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal that means two or three angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence the triangles will be similar and today we will discuss the next criterion for two triangles to be similar and that is this one theorem 6.4 the criterion name is sss criterion uh, there's a chance you may make some mistake this is different from uh, sss criterion for the congruency criterion but here you read the theorem if in two triangles sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle so the sides need not be equal we need to get sides in the same ratio that's enough they are proportional means that they are in the same ratio then their corresponding angles are equal and hence this triangle are similar that's what this second criterion we can call it as sss criterion if three sides are in the same ratio or they are in proportion then angles will be equal the triangles are similar this was the definition of a triangles similarity so here you look both these conditions should be satisfied for two triangles to be similar by definition so in the first criterion we studied uh, their angles are equal that is a a a criterion is satisfying then that then the such triangles will be similar that means the first first criterion or first theorem we discussed in the previous class it was like this the if first one satisfied then that gives the second that implies the second the second statement or condition will also hold and in the theorem we studied today that is criterion number 2 sss criterion that start from the second condition if the second condition is satisfied then the first condition will also hold that is if three sides are in the same ratio then their angles will be equal we can discuss the proof so uh, we can consider two triangles triangle abc and triangle pqr such that the first part of theorem says that their sides are in the same ratio so we can write uh, ac by pr is equal to ab by ab by pq is equal to bc by qr that is their sides are in the same ratio so this is satisfied this is given and we want to prove that their angles are equal that is we want to prove that angle a is equal to angle p and angle b is equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r that means the corresponding angles are equal so for that the proof is almost similar to the previous proof the proof of the previous theorem uh it's, it's a constructive proof we can set some triangle inside the second triangle like this uh look here we mark some point m here and n here such that this length rm is same as ac of first triangle and the length rn is same as the length bc of first triangle now look here I, i give number 1 for this given statement and from this statement i take only the first and the three okay so look here we can write ac by pr is equal to bc by qr i took only first and the third one now we can substitute rm and rn for ac and bc because they are equal we chose like so so the next step rm by pr is equal to rn by qr now by example 1 solved in textbook uh, please watch video number 5 if you didn't we can write this as rm by mp is equal to 
R n by n q. Now there is a chance to apply the reverse theorem of basic proportionality theorem, right? You look here in this triangle, it is like this R m by m p is equal to R n by n q. So by reverse theorem of basic proportionality, we can say that m n is parallel to p q. And hence, since Mn is parallel to PQ, the corresponding angles will be equal. That is, angle M will be equal to angle P and angle N will be equal to angle Q. Now you look, you, you consider triangle MNR and triangle PQR. Their angles are equal, right? Angle M is equal to angle P, angle N is equal to angle Q, and angle R are common. Angle R is equal to angle R. So by the previous criterion, by a, a, a criteria in these two triangles, okay, we are not taking the our original two triangles, but the second and third triangles, we apply the criterion uh, number one, that is A, a or A, a, a criterion, uh, we will get RM by PR is equal to RN by QR is equal to MN by PQ. Now we, we can substitute AC and BC for RM and RN. So this will modify to AC by PR is equal to BC by QR is equal to MN by PQ. Now for this statement, I give number two and we compare number one and number two, the given statement and this statement. Uh, you can see two of these ratios are same, AC by PR here, AC by PR here, and uh, BC by QR is here and BC by QR here. So the third ones must be equal, right? Because these all are equal, you can see here. So the middle one, that is this AB by PQ will be also equal to this MN by PQ. So I write this here in the next line. AB by PQ is equal to MN by PQ. So this means AB is same as MN. Their lengths are equal, right? AB is equal to MN. And we already have RM is same as AC and RN is same as BC. We chose like this. And now we got AB is same as MN. The third sides of these two triangles are also equal. Therefore, by SSS criterion of congruency, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle MN. R. So their angles will be also equal. Corresponding angles will be also equal. So the angles of triangle ABC will be same as angles of triangle MNR. So we can write angle A is equal to angle M. We choose the corresponding angles, okay? And angle B is equal to angle N and angle C is equal to angle R. Now you look, we compare this and this. This means that is we had written the angles of triangle MNR and triangle PQR are equal. So you compare these two, uh, I have drawn inside circles. So we will get what we want to True, right? So you look here, angle A is equal to angle M here. And angle M is equal to angle P. And from these two, we will get angle A is equal to angle P, right? And similarly, second one, angle B is equal to angle N. Here, angle N is equal to angle Q. So from these two, we will get angle B is equal to angle Q. And from the last two angles, angle C is equal to angle R. Uh, we, we can write angle C is equal to angle R. That is the theorem is proved, the angles of triangle ABC and triangle PQR are equal. So hence these two triangles are similar.
I shall explain the theorem once again with this file. Uh, so the theorem 6.4, the second criteria of similarity, uh, theorem says, if in two triangles, sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other, then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. So we consider two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR such that AC by PR is equal to AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR. That is, their sides are in the same ratio. And we constructed uh, some triangle M and R in such a way that MR is same as AC and RN is same as BC. And from one, we choose the first and third ratios AC by PR is equal to BC by QR. And then we replace AC and BC by RM and RN because they are equal, we chose like so. Then by reverse theorem of basic proportionality, we can see that MN is parallel to PQ in this picture. MN is parallel to PQ. And hence we can say that angle M is equal to angle P and angle N is equal to angle Q. That is here. Uh, definitely the third angles will be equal of the, those two triangles. So by AA criterion or AAA criterion, the criterion we discussed in the previous class, we can write uh, the ratios of these two triangles, triangle MNR and triangle PQRR in the same ratio. And then we can replace MR and RN by AC and BC since they are equal. So we'll get some result like this. Let it be number two. Now comparing this number two and this number one, we will get AB is equal to MN. And hence, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle MNR because already two sides are chosen same. And we got the third sides are also equal. So these two triangles are congruent by SSS criterion of congruency. And since they are congruent, their corresponding angles will be equal of triangle ABC and triangle MNR. And we have already seen that angles of triangle MNR and triangle PQR are equal. Look here, angle M is equal to angle P, angle N is equal to angle Q and angle R are common angles. And here the angles of triangle ABC and triangle PQR are also equal. So that shows that the angles of triangle ABC and the triangle PQR are equal. That is angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, and angle C is equal to angle R. So that's what we want to prove. And hence, since the angles are also equal, the second condition in the definition of similar triangles are also satisfied here. So we can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. In the next video, we will discuss the third criterion for similarity of triangles. Until then, bye.